Good evening, St. Lucia. I am Lieutenant Colonel Lucia Slake, Director of the National Emergency Management Operations Center. We are here tonight to talk about shelters. Good evening, St. Lucia. I am Colonel Nathan Hyacin, the Chairperson of the National Supplies Committee. There's a lot of talk, St. Lucia, as it pertains to shelters. As it stands right now, we have 161 shelters on island. Persons seeking admission to shelters should have a conversation with the District Disaster Committee members as to their placement in shelters. Persons are not expected to show up at any of these 161 shelters seeking admission. So the length and breadth of St. Lucia, persons who need that, ensure you contact your District Disaster Management Committee members who will then contact NEMO to start the machinery to have shelters open to accommodate you. Shelters need a lot more than what meets the eye. We need security, you need bedding, persons need to be fed. So there are a number of issues that need to be addressed before persons are placed in shelters without the requisite bits of information needed for a safe transition from wherever you are living, which has issues, into any of these shelters at present. As you've heard from Colonel Lake, a shelter is not just the building. And we need to recognize that apart from just housing people, we have to be able to deal with the, the security aspect of people, the security aspect of the families that are, that are coming to those shelters. So apart from just the manager of the shelter, who in most cases are either the um, school principals or the um, the, the, the counselors for the Human Resource Center um, or the, the priests for the, the, the churches, we need to have additional personnel. So one, when you go into the shelter, you want to have at least somewhere where you can um, lie down and sleep to spend out the, the, the event. You will need something to eat and you expect at least some level of security because when you reach at a shelter, it is not like at home where you are in the confines of your own home and you deal with your family members only. At the shelters, you will be exposed to all other members of society um, at, at, at that same time. So we've had issues in the past where we really need to really think strongly about the security of our personnel and our people and our children, especially at the shelters. So in that vein, we have to take it extremely seriously. The resources must be put in place when the shelter is open. So if in any district that there's a need for a shelter to be open, you must be able to start the process by contacting your district disaster committee, who then will inform NEMO of the requirement of that shelter, who will then put the mechanisms in place in order to allow the, the safe handling and safety of the people who are at the shelter. So therefore, you can have somewhere to sleep. You can have something to eat. Shelters are schools, community centers, faith-based organizations, and buildings of such. As a result, because they are not primarily used for that purpose, things have to be moved. Where it pertains to schools, you have to clear out the areas. That's not all. On entry into the shelters, persons are registered, so we know exactly who is staying and who we are dealing with at this point in time. And like Colonel Hyacinth said, we have to separate the male from the female. These, they are standard protocols which we are going to follow when the shelters are open in going forward. It's not a matter of showing up at a school, wherever it is, and expect all to be in place. It has to be taken into account that these institutions where you are going to be housed are used for other activities other than shelters. So we're employing on members of the public to speak with your members of the District Disaster Management Committees to get a better understanding of the process of moving into a shelter. Do not show up at a shelter and demand that the security person opens up for you. There is a process to get done, and the sooner you speak with your disaster, the district disaster committee member, who will then have a conversation with Nemo, then we can have that conversation and give all the support needed so we can have a safe transition from wherever you are living, which caused you to go to a shelter, to be livable until the passage of this hurricane.